Hello and welcome all. If you are new to my channel, I just wanted to give you quick introduction about my channel. Here I am making just a small attempt to answer the queries which my son asked me and I think it can be useful for others as well. So recently my son had asked me what are the prime numbers and the composite number. So to start with this video, I just wanted to give one liner which is every positive integer is composite prime or the unit one. So what that means? We will uh, see that once we go to the slide one by one. So let's start with the prime numbers. A prime number has a two condition. This prime number should be a positive integer number which is greater than one and it is only divisible by one and itself. So if we consider any number as a prime number, this that number should meet both of this condition. So now let's look at the example of the prime numbers. So example of prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17 and so on. So let's check whether they num these numbers are meeting the criteria or not. So first prime number is 2. So 2 is definitely greater than 1 and if we make factors of that number 2, it will give us 1 and 2. So its only factor uh, are 1, the unit number and 2, which is the number itself. Now let's look at the next prime number, which is 3. Definitely it is greater than 1 and its factor are 1 and 3, which, uh, which are the unit number and the number itself. Same goes with the 5, 7, 11, 13, 17 and every prime number. So now let's look at the composite number. So composite number has three conditions. It, it is a positive integer that has at least one divisor other than one and itself. It is a number which is neither prime nor unit. All even numbers except two will be composite number. So now let's look at the example of composite numbers, which are 4, 6, 8, 9, 12, 14. As I had mentioned earlier, all even numbers except 2 will be the composite number. So 4, 6, 8, 12, 14, these all are even numbers and they are not 2. So that's one criteria. But if we look at the other criteria, so 4 is definitely greater than 1 and it can be divided by 2 as well. So it has a in its factor, it has 2 into 2, which is neither the number unit number or not the number itself. And same goes for 6. So 6 can be divided by 2 or 6 can be divided by 3. So these were all for even number. But now let's look at the first composite number, which is odd number, which is number 9. So if we try to make a factors of number 9, it can be either 1 into 9 or it can be 3 into 3, which is other than the unit number and the number itself. That's the reason the odd, even the odd number is the composite number. So dear friends, here were the some examples of the primary, of the prime and the composite number through which I tried to explain the differences between prime and composite number to my son if you think these were this information was helpful for you please like and share the video with your friends and family and if you have any suggestion or question on which you want me to make video please add that in comment section and please subscribe to the channel it's free and thanks for watching the video